Hi guys, and my name is Michelle. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I do a bit of, little bit of everything, beauty, fitness, weirdo video. Today I'm gonna show you a less than 10 minute makeup tutorial with less than 10 products, and it's super easy. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. All right guys, let's get started. I love an easy makeup look, and I'm the queen of it, okay? Um, so today, I always start out with a BB cream. This one has sunscreen in it, so this is the kind I like. This is actually from Mary Kay. <clears throat> um, I've used this for years because I really like the way it goes on my skin, and I like the finish of it. It's like the perfect amount of coverage, I think, for an everyday look. I don't like the look of foundation on me every single day. I just like something really easy and simple that almost looks like I'm not wearing makeup. And the reason that I apply this with just my hands is because I think it finishes way nicer actually when I like compared when I put it on with my beauty blender. So this is why I put it on with my hands. This is very different than most beauty gurus. And if there's any other extra spots that I need to cover, I go ahead and do that. Next, I'm gonna take this Be Bright Illuminizing, Illuminating Concealer. Now, um, I only do this if like I have allergies or I'm looking really tired. This is not something that I do every single day, but for the sake of this video, let's do it. I only put a little bit, and I honestly just tap it in with my ring finger. I swear this is how it looks the most natural for me. If Beauty Blender works good for you, then go for it. But this is how I feel like it just blends so nicely with my ring finger, so. Or I guess I use my middle finger, not my ring finger. Mm. Guys, Game of Thrones is on tonight, and I can't even wait. Like this video if you're a Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> See, didn't that like open me up a little bit? Really nice and natural. Yeah, I like that. I just don't like using a lot of concealer because it I have very creasy eyes and it definitely sits in them and I have lots of little bumps underneath my eyes. So that's what I like to do. So now that that is um, a go, next I'm gonna go ahead and put on my bronzer. I'm taking this really shitty one that I don't even like but I'm using the rest of it. It's in this little duo. It's called a Caribbean Sun. I just don't think it blends nicely. Not my fave. So I'm gonna put this here on my cheeks and then I'll take it also with a fluffier brush around the Z temples. Now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my blush you guys know that I always use the NARS Orgasm Blush. Um, it's my fave. I've used it for years. I love the sheen of it. I love the color. And it lasts like all night if, or all day if I'm going somewhere. See how pretty that is? I just feel like a little, a little woman, you know? And if it tends to be too much, then I just take, I'll, I'll show you guys how I blend it out in a little bit. Next, I am going to take my Morphe eyeshadow palette, because I'm a she bitch, and I'm gonna take the darkest shade here in the palette, it's called Sweet, and I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. None of the other beauty gurus fill in their eyebrows on camera, which honestly pisses me off, like, fill in your eyebrows on the camera. Is it really like, do you use a stamp and you just don't tell anybody? <laughs> you know? Like, what are you doing? So I just take small little strokes. Luckily I have really dark eyebrows, so I just, naturally, so I just kind of follow the natural shape. I don't have to create a new shape or anything, which is very nice. Very, very nice. See? I just feel like that matches my hair color so much better, and I love it. And every once in a while, if I get really bored, I take this um, Gimme Brow by Benefit, the OG of the brow gels. 
Oh, I love a good brow gel. I just feel like it adds so much dimension to your, your brow. Oh, it looks good. And then I take this lash primer. I don't know if what, if you're not using lash primer, I know it was like a, a high school thing, but if you're still not using it, why is my question. Um, I take this and I cut my lashes. Comment below if you use a lash primer, and if you do, what's your favorite brand? Currently, I'm using Volume Booster by Essence, and it works well. I really like it. I hate the ones that like dry down like really thick and like clustery. This one's like very thin, and it and you can just tell it has the little fiber on top of my lash. And I, I don't have very long lashes or thick lashes, so I just feel like this adds that extra oomph. Next, I'm gonna take my mascara. I'm using Lash Sense um, by Cenogens. My friend Abby sells it, so I purchased some from her. I know they have a lash primer or two, but I have not gotten that yet. I tried their BB cream. I have it here, but it's too light for my skin tone, and I don't really like it. I don't. I can't give a, a actual opinion on it because. I don't like the way it looks on my skin since it is so light, but I want to try the medium one to see if I like it as a whole product, but so far I like my Mary Kay one more, um, but I want to give a better opinion about it. So now that, let me zoom you guys in. See, doesn't that look nice? Just super natural, but the same. Um, and now the last step, I always use a tinted powder. I know a lot of people use like a translucent powder or like a white one. But the reason I like the tinted one is because with the BB cream, it just gives me a little bit of extra coverage. And if your blush or your bronzer is too harsh or anything like that, I feel like this just, kind of tones it down and makes everything really natural. And I'll be right back with my hair did. All right, hair is done. Uh, I feel much better about it. And now I'm just gonna add the final touches. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take this um, pixie highlight here I'm just gonna lightly dust it on my cheeks. Hey, the cheeks are glowing. Down my nose. I'm gonna take this bare metal rose lip. And apply the teensiest amount just to give some my lips some color. This is me pretending to be a beauty guru like all the other beauty gurus that love themselves so much. Here I am. That's it for my final look. I it was super easy. I use just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven products, seven, nine products. It's not bad at all. Um, and it's super easy. It takes me less than 10 minutes and I just, I feel good. Like I don't feel like I, I, I don't feel like I need a ton of makeup. I just feel like, you know, a little bit better.